Umbrella's gone. Oh, I bet it was that Bigfoot. It's time for a suit up montage. Cronky, it's time to get that Bigfoot. Ah, ready for action. Oh, by the way, this is my sidekick, Jimmy. Uh, he don't <laughs> talk too much, but uh, he's, he's a nice guy, I guess. All right, go for goats, let's race. All right, Jimmy, this is your first hunt, so you got a lot to learn, but stand by me, and everything's gonna be a o. Ah! Ah! Oh. You yourself, didn't you? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Cranky, you see this? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's Bigfoot scat. Smells like it too. Tastes like it too. All right, I think we should be right. Cranky, you hear that? Out in the great beyond? Oh, there's Alana too. She's just chilling with us, don't know why. All right, let's track the noise. You hear that, boy? All right, all right, track him down. Get him, boy, get him. You know, it could just be the fact that you ate fecal waste that you're hearing things. I am hallucinating heavily right now. Oh, I'm with you people. I hate nature. I hate it. There it is again. We're getting closer. Alana, did you did you bring my, my Bigfoot repellent like I asked you to? No. Um, we are screwed, mates. All right, let's keep going. Oh, that cat's really kicking in. Ah! Huh, there he is. I'm stuck with me. Where is my pelican umbrella? That's what this is about, mate. Crunky. It's a flamingo. Uh, whip. Let's take it again. Did that? that tree just make a noise? No, I'm just a normal tree. Ah, oh, that hurt. Oh, oh, oh. This is not a tree. It's a big foot. Get him. Get him. Ah, no, no, no. Crocky, I just want to fly. Flamingo. <laughs> Internally, cranky. Oh, this was a mistake. Who got checker? 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 Hello? Hey, can I put some umbrella? Sure. Thank This is Ms. Pellegrino for The Morning Show, wishing you a happy day and learning times. Today is Thursday, September 7th, 2023. Please stand by for the Pledge to the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for your school news. Hong Kong Emerson will be making Asian chicken salad for lunch today. If you prefer dairy to meat, pizza is also available for $2 a slice. Do you have an imaginative mind? Do you like to go on adventures with friends, but for pretend like? Join the role playing club where we play Dungeons and Dragons. Please sign up outside the gym and talk to Mr. McCullen or Miss Covert for more information. Do you eat food? Do you eat fresh? If so, perhaps you will join us for a zesty Subway fundraiser on September 12th. Please order today. Time's running out. Do you like to play sports? Do you like to lead cheer or cheerlead? Sign-ups for our delightful clubs are posted on the gym door. They won't stay up forever, so hurry on down. Cookie night auditions were also on Friday. Everyone did a fantastic job. I would know I was there. The final cast list will be announced sometime in the future, or possibly the past.
That narrows it down. Harbor Reads is going to host a book club on Fridays from 10.30 to 10.50. We will be reading Ranger in Time, Hurricane Katrina Rescue. It costs five Harbor dollars. The book club began Friday, but if you are really nice, maybe Miss Me will let you in. Lastly, Harbor Studios needs a Batman and a Joker. We will be filming a reenactment of a scene from The Dark Knight. Anyone with tremendous acting skill and patience can swing by first or second this week for a little audition. Just a little one. Now here's your weather for today, brought to you by our new mayor, Ahuva Burstein. I wonder how she'll stand up to our Harbor CEO. Good job! It's cool. It's a cool place and they say it gets cooler. You're bundled up now. Wait till you get older. This is a poem from Smash Mouth who suffered a loss over the weekend. Steve Har Harwell. Smash Mouth's lead singer passed away. Rest assured he was an all-star until the end. Today will be stormy with a 43% chance of rain. The weather knows about Steve, who is walking on the sun. Temperatures will be scorching once again, once more, with a high of 97 degrees. Oh, sorry, guys. I was like, it's a soft a little bit. Degrees and a low of 76. Wherever Steve Harwell is, we know he's hanging out with Shrek, telling people to get out of my swamp. That's all for the weather. Now here's some entertainment news. <laughs> Steve. You see this? Uh, you see this movie called uh, uh, Across the Spider Verse? No, I haven't watched that movie yet. I'm actually planning on watching the Five Nights at Freddy's movie when it comes out on October 27th. What's it about? The greatest thing Scott has ever made. Oh, that was nostalgic when it was popular. Oh, I miss Scott now. Is it like based on a video game? Indeed it is. Look, look up Five Nights at Freddy's and you can see all the amazing games it created. The world's best game in the early 2000s has to be the FNAF Trilogy. Every person who has ever played that now has no fear tolerance. Because all they've seen is those amazing, scary things. Oh, I missed the bite of 87. That's all for entertainment. See you tomorrow for more entertainment. Goodbye. Did you know that the Egyptian pyramids were so well constructed that to this day, you cannot fit a credit card in one of its, if it's cracks. Wow, really? Yes. <laughs> no capping? And cuts. How do you make an egg roll? You, Ow. you push it. Ha 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 ha. And? Cut. What do you call an angry carrot? A what? steamed vegetable. Ha 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 ha. Cut. Hey, Joe Chapman here, and today we're going to be doing NFL Week 1 game predictions. So I'm going to be giving you my game picks game to game for Week 1 of the regular season 2023. So starting with the Thursday nighter, we got the Lions going um, into Arrowhead to play the Chiefs. This is going to be my upset. I got the Lions uh, winning this game. I think it's going to be very back and forth. A very entertaining way to start the season. All right, next up, we got the Bengals and the Browns. Give me the Bengals in this one. I'm going to say it's going to be pretty close. I know it's going to be one of those divisional games. I'm going to say 27 to 23. Next up, oh, here we go. We got the Texans and the Ravens. So give me the home team. Give me the Baltimore Ravens in this one. Um, I, I, I'm kind of using, this is the best lighting we got here. <laughs> Uh, let's say by about, maybe they win by about 90 to 10. No, I'm kidding. I'm going to do um, How about 37 to 23? All right, next up, we got the Buccaneers and the Vikings. Give me the Vikings in that one. Um, 31 to 23. Panthers and Falcons. Oh, uh, 
Give me the Falcons in this one. I do have faith that they're going to get it done at home, and I'm going to say 24 to 20. Uh, next up, we got the Cardinals and the Commanders. Um, so give me the Commanders in this one. I'm going to say 24 to 21. Moving on to the Jacksonville Jaguars playing the Indianapolis Colts. However, give me Jacksonville in this one. Um, 31 to 14. I just think they're going to be the better team this year and just run away with that division, to be honest with you. 49ers and Steelers. This one's kind of an interesting one, um, but I'll roll the dice on them. Give me a 29 27. I think it's going to be pretty close. All right, next up, we got the Titans and the Saints. Give me the Saints in this one. I'm going to say 27 21. Okay, Raiders and Broncos. All right, we got a divisional matchup here. It's going to be one of those games, man. It's going to be boring. I'm going to say, like, 13 to 9. Eagles and Patriots. Okay, this one could be a little more entertaining. Give me the Eagles 33 to 30. I think there's going to be a good amount of uh, points in this one. Rams and Seahawks. So give me Seattle. I'm going to say um, 28 to 17. All right, moving on, we got the Dolphins and the Chargers. This one is going to be a fun one. I think there's going to be a lot of points in this one. 37 to 31. I'll actually go with the Chargers in that one. Next up, we got the Packers and Bears, another divisional game. I believe that the Bears will win this one. A good amount of points being scored. Give me Chicago, however, 26 to 21. Cowboys and Giants. Give me the Cowboys in this one. I believe they are going to win by a final score of about 31 to 29. All right, Bills and Jets, Aaron Rodgers. I'll, I'll go for another upset here, and I'm going to actually take the Jets in this one. Let's go with 33 to 31, and that will wrap it up for week one game picks. Cool. Well, that's the end of the show. What did we learn? Dungeons and Dragons usually involves Dungeons and Dragons. Steve Harwell is an all-star who is walking on the sun with Shrek. An angry carrot is a steamed vegetable. From all of us at the Harbor School Morning Show, have a thick Thursday. Please like and subscribe. Peace out. Well, the years start coming and they don't stop coming. Fed to the rules and I hit the ground running. Did it make sense not to live for fun? Your brain gets smart but your head gets dumb. So much to do, so much to see, so what's wrong with taking the back streets? You'll never know if you don't go. You'll never shine if you don't glow. Hey now, you're an all-star. Get your game on, go play. Hey now, you're a rock star. Get the show on, get paid. I bet that but uh, the, 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 I can't even decide what my accent is. You had a great accent. Uh, go get the umbrella. Action. <laughs> keep that. Keep that. <laughs>